This is a video for how to go about creating the exploded view of the construction block assembly as well as completing the entire drawing that you see here. In Fusion 360, we've gone in a previous video and created the construction block assembly. What we will do now is create the animation that we see in the top right hand corner of this drawing. In Fusion, we're going to go to Design and we're going to go to Animation. And we're going to go up to transform components and we're going to click on the rectangular prison and i'm going to i'm going to drag up and you'll notice that we get these offsets for distances over here and we're dragging on the z axis right now and that's three we're going to go ahead and say okay we're going to click on our triangle now and we're going to go up to transform components and i'm going to drag to the left let's say over this distance about a distance of i don't know two let's say and i'm going to say okay i'm going to come up to transform components again and we're going to drag up and I'm going to say OK. And that now has created our exploded view for us. We're going to click Save. I'm going to say OK. And now we're going to go about creating the drawing of the object that we see right here. So in Fusion, we're going to go to Animation and we're going to go down to Drawing and we're going to say From Design. And it's going to ask us, you know, from scratch, I mean, do you have a template or not? Do you want to stay in inches? Yes, we do. And we're going to go 11 by 8.5 and, and I'm going to say OK. And automatically, it's going to reference the assembled view that we have. And it's going to say that you have a 1 to 4 scale right now. I'm going to go with a half scale. So I'm going to go, you know, 1 half, click on this, come up. And as I can drag over to here, I'm going to get my drawing and drag it over, get, get in the middle of this drawing, see if I can drag this over. Let's just go ahead and say OK. I can just tap inside the drawing and then drag it over to here if I need to. It kind of got stuck over here on the side. But just to get out of that, I said OK. Now, we have a title block down here at the bottom. You're going to notice that it looks a little bit different than the title block down here. And I just feel like this is taking up too much space for the drawing that we're going to make. So we're going to go up to Sheet Settings. And where it says Anti Title Block, we're going to click on this little pencil and we're going to uncheck Display Title Block. And I'm going to say OK. And I just want to move this down, just a little bit down here towards the bottom. And we're going to go up to Projected View. And I'm going to click on our front view. I'm going to drag to the right. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag up here at the top, and I'm going to click. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say OK. Now, for, somehow it made actually made two of these for me. I can click on one of them and delete them. But you'll notice now that we have our multi-view sketch of our assembly here, and we have one half, and we have one sixteenth. We can go up to dimension. I tell you, before we go to dimension, we need to change our sheet, our document settings up here. So I'm going to click on document settings. And you'll notice that we are in decimal right now. And I want to check this over here. And I want to say, you know, we're in decimal. I want to be in fractional. And the other thing is they're going to say, you know, your linear dimension limits are one fourth. We, let's go down to like one sixty fourth. We could go to one sixteenth. But, you know, just to keep precision around, I'm going to say one sixty fourth. And I'm going to say, OK, we're going to click on dimension. I come down here and I'm going to say from this point to this point should be one half. And if we follow the directions in the drawing correctly, remember the only thing we're really worried about is just these two numbers. We can use whatever units we want to create this, um, you know, this arc shape, the triangular shape, and the rectangular prism. But we just wanted to make sure we had one half gap from the back and one sixteenth in from this ridge. I'm still in dimension. I'm going to zoom in from this point to this point is one sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to drag up. We have one sixteenth. Good. I'll go ahead and place that. Now we need to place the exploded view that we made in a previous in that animated view. So we're going to go up to base view. And where it says model, I can go to storyboard one or storyboard two, and whichever one you have placed, you're going to see that it kind of is showing it to me out here in the side. Let me see if I can drag this in. You can always just click in place and say okay if you want. Right now they say the scale is one half. We can keep the scale the same as over here. I'm just going to go ahead and say okay. And I can tap inside of this and just drag it in if I need to. And this right here is our view. Now you can notice there's these trails here that you can put in. We're not going to place the trails just for the sake of the video, but you can see how the part was kind of taken apart and put back together. Here is our exploded view from a previous drawing. So now what we need now is we need a, we need a parts list and we're going to be able to go up to table and we can just tap on the view that we want. And as you see, they're going to start creating a drawing for us. And I'm just going to kind of snap this down into the bottom corner. You notice it came over the top of this, so we can kind of move these around a little bit. That's one of the reasons why you want to give yourself a little bit of room to work with, you know, when you're placing a drawing. So I'm going to drag this up, and now we have a parts list, and it's automatically giving us these balloons. And I can click on the balloons, and I can kind of drag the numbers around a little bit if I want. You know, I can click and move 
just move them around like that. And you'll notice that each one of the arrows only touches the side of one of the objects. It doesn't go into the object. That's one of the things that's very important. So if you're going to place a balloon yourself, you can just click on balloon, find the part, and click and drag out and place. Now, we don't want the three placed twice, so I'm just going to go in and delete that. But if you're placing a balloon yourself, you can just click up here. What's nice about this is you see a rectangular prism, it's going to find the name of what the part is, that whatever I called it. You see triangle, you see arch shape. We go back to the drawing here, you can see the description's blank. You know, they made theirs out of birch, I happened to make mine out of steel. You could go back to the part itself and open up the part and change the type of material that you made it out of, and it would update back at your drawing over here. So it's nice to have those parts lists. Now you'll notice it says all tolerances have a, have a plus or minus of 0.1, which means the total allowable tolerance is 0 0.02. We're going to go back to the drawing. Let's, let's go back to our drawing up here at the top. Let me see. Click go back to the drawing, and we're just going to place text. And we're going to click on the A for text, and we're going to highlight. We're going to let off. And I'm going to go to where it says all tolerances. So I'm going to type in all. Let's come back over to here. So make sure I'm into this thing right here. All tolerances. And up here I have a symbol. And I'm going to come down to symbol, and there's my tolerance number. Point. Let's go up here real quick. Let's go back and take a look again. Point zero 0.01. So we've got point zero 0.01. Point. My keyboard is messing with me. Point zero 0.01. Sometimes, I guess maybe since I clicked out of it and I tabbed over. Point zero 0.01. It's because I had tapped out of it. One of the things about Fusion, you'll notice that if I'm, I'm hitting Alt-Tab going back and forth, when I come back in here, I have to make sure I'm inside that box. Inches. Now I can drag this over if I don't want, you know, it to be multiple paragraphs. I can put that there. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back to where it says parts adhered with wood glue. So I'll say parts. And I got to go back into here again. I came out of it. Let's hit escape twice. I'm going to escape real quick. Come back to here. I'm going to right click and I want to go to edit. And let's just go back up to text. I can right click on this for some reason. It's wanting to mess with me a little bit here. If I go to edit view, it should let me open this up. It's not letting me open it up for now. I just go back up to text underneath. I'll just click here. It's going to type parts adhered with wood glue. Again, I'll just drag this over this way, just like that. Let off, say close. You know, I can move these around still. I can click here and kind of drag this down to make sure it's along there. And I can change the font if I want to or need to, but that is how we go about creating the tolerances for that sheet. So if by chance, you know, when you complete, you want to put your name on the drawing too. You know, one of the things that I'll do with students is, you know, I'll just have, I'll just go, say, go to text. We're just going to come down here and drag a window and, you know, you're going to put, you know, your name and then our underneath it or something like that and say close. Have them export as a PDF if we are turning in PDFs. And we've created a multi-view drawing, the same as what was requested in Activity 2.1.4. You know, we can see that there's just three parts. We can see how they're put together. We can see how they're taken apart. We know what they're made of. We know exactly what to call each one if we were going to make ourselves a parts list. Kind of like something you would get if you bought something and had to put it together. And how you would put it together and what each of the materials were called. This is a bare bones basic, you know, parts list sheet and also edit directions on how to put something together. So this has been a video for how to go about creating the exploded view of the construction block assembly, as well as the drawing in Fusion 360 from Activity 2.1.